One minute, you're breaking up sibling battles and enforcing timeouts. The next, your toddler's a tween or teen. And the transgressions become different. Charlotte Sullivan knows her parents get mad when she leaves a mess. Dirty dishes or leave my socks on the floor, which I do a lot. For Dad Jason, it's not what his 12-year-old does, but what she sometimes says. Charlotte's typical uh, tween sarcasm gets a little bit disrespectful, and then my voice is going to get a little bit sharp. Developmental psychologist John Gibbs surveyed tweens and teens in grades 5, 8, and 10 to measure the type of discipline kids get at home. The researchers found benefits when parents used something called inductive discipline. You're trying to induce in the child an awareness of how the transgression, or whatever it was, uh, had adversely impacted uh, uh, others. For example, instead of taking away cell phones or grounding them, a parent disciplining a preteen or teen might say, I never expected that kind of behavior from you. I have faith in you. I expect better from you next time. If the child cares about the relationship to the parent, that's going to make a uh, an impact. The Sullivans say Charlotte's a good kid and when needed, a little inductive discipline goes a long way. She feels bad that she crossed a line. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.